Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Mrs. Stroman. I'm back today to talk to you about a very special group of words called vowels. Okay, we talked about them in class, so you've heard that word before, but we're going to go over them because they are so important when it comes to reading. All right, our first one is this letter right here. What is it? Good, good job. A, and what does A say? Ah, 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 nice work. So smart. All right, now we have this letter. What letter do we have here? E, E, and what does E say? Eh, 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 right? Let me hear you. Eh, eh, good job. Now we have this letter here. What letter is this? I, I, and I says what? Remember what to do with your nose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. What's this letter? Oh, what does O say? Ah, oh, right, like you're a singer, you're an opera singer. Ah, oh, good job. And then we have this one right here. What letter is that? U, U. And what does U say? Good, remember we put our shoulders up. Ah, 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 ah. So let's go over them one more time. We have, what's this? Good, A, this is good, E, this is I, perfect. Then we have Oh, excellent. And then we have you. Good. So let me show you what I mean when I say we need these letters to read and to write. It's so important. On this page right here, I have a D and a G and a D and a G. Now with just them, it's dug -dug. that means absolutely nothing, right? I'm going to add a vowel, but a different vowel to each one. And you're going to see how that vowel transforms those letters into two different words, depending on the vowel. All right, let's look at the one up top. What do we have now? D -og. D -og, dog, right? And down here we have d -ig, dig, dig. We have dog and we have dig. They both had D and G, but the thing that made the difference was that vowel in the middle. That's why vowels are so important and we can never ever get enough practice of using our vowels, right? Now right now, most of us, when we're in Alpine, we're learning the short vowel sounds, right? The a, ah, e, eh, i, ah, and a, uh, a. Uh. The vowels are so amazing that they have another sound too. They have long sounds. So I'm just going to show you those, okay? Briefly, we'll go through them. A says A. Isn't that crazy? Let's see if you can figure out the others now. What do you think E says? Yeah, you're right. E says E. Long E. What is long I going to say? I. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. You're too smart. How about long O? O. Good, nice job. And then long U is going to say U. Good, yeah, vowels are so crazy like that. They have different sounds and um, they call them short and long. We use the short vowels in class, especially when we're doing letter books. Um, but some children, when you read independently, they'll run into long vowel sounds. So it's good, it's important to make sure we remember all our vowel sounds, and that we do the proper sounds of the vowel when we're putting them into words. 
okay? Who can tell me all the vowels? Ready? Go. Good, good. A, E, I, O, and U. Excellent. Well, good job, boys and girls. Thank you for listening. Um, always remember you can never practice your vowels too much. So if you want, you can make little cards that say A, E, I, O, U and practice your sounds, okay? Uh, thank you for being as amazing as you always are. You're always such great listeners. Uh, I miss you too much. Miss you, miss you, and love you. And I can't wait till we see each other again. Okay, have a great day. Thank you.